to the Waterloo School Student News Bunger Middle School Edition. I'm Avery Engel. And I'm Justice Walker. Our volleyball teams enjoyed another successful season. Let's check out awesome highlights from a game against Carver. I coached here last year. I was Brian Gers' assistant. Great coach, I learned a lot from him. And I love the school so much that I decided to come back and student teach here. This team, definitely their camaraderie. They have a lot of cheers and chants. They work together, they talk on the court, and they hustle. I like celebrating the points with the team. I like it because it's been in my family for a long time. All my sisters and all my cousins have played on a team. You get to meet a lot of new people, like half these girls, I didn't really know them, and now I feel really close to them, and it's a lot of fun. Overall, Bunger Wolves are looking pretty good when it comes down to our athletic programs. We're seeing a lot of growth. We have a lot of student participation out. This is one of those things that we're hoping to continue to grow our program and allow our students to have fun. Watching them from the beginning of the season to the end of the season and watching some of the students that I saw as sixth graders come into the building. Now our eighth graders playing competition, getting ready for high school. Just watching them grow is one of the best parts of being an athletic coach. What we're hoping to do is build up the program to when they go to East, East is competitive. So we've had a lot of improvements. Bunger has many innovative teachers. Check out how one of the social studies teacher engages students through fun projects. Point for view. If I want to show a line of latitude, what am I going to do? Latitude, right? Because latitude is flat. The reason why Miss Jorgensen is so fun and why we love her class is we really get to express ourselves. She makes it fun for learning and we get to do fun stuff. She's just a really fun teacher and I just love being in her classroom. I really like to play songs for them, especially songs that they know today. If they can get engaged and sing along to this popular song, doing things that they love, they absolutely enjoy it. talked about latitude and longitude a couple weeks ago. They also learn dance moves in our class when they're learning. So they'll be shaking their arms to make a latitude line, they shake their arms to do longitude, and they point to the directions of the compass rails when they're learning their directions. Today we're making a map on the computer for direction and latitude and longitude. So we get to pick something that we like to do. Honestly, teaching to me is just my passion, and when I'm here every day, it's like I'm not even coming to work. I just love to do this. I'm always thinking, what can I do for my students when they're learning and they're engaged? I'm having fun. So if I'm not having fun, I know they're not. I always strive every day. How can I make my students excited to be here? Bunger's ELP students hosted their second annual pumpkin drop. I got to be a part of it, and it was a lot of fun. Our school pumpkin survived. Carver's did it. This year, we invited ELP students from Carver to join in on the fun. Three, two, one! It was the second annual pumpkin drop, and this year, instead of just keeping it for Bunger, we invited Carver to join us. We found that it's good to have Carver kids and Bunger kids know each other before they head off to East High. They were really excited. They couldn't wait. They came up with the five supplies that they wanted to use the whole class, so everybody got the same amount of stuff. It was interesting to see how they all used it differently cushion from the sheet and then we have rope around it to secure the bed sheet. The overall goal of the pumpkin drop was for them to experiment with different designs and find something that would keep a pumpkin from splatting on the ground. The great thing about doing this is that the next time that I have them they can take a look at their designs and figure out what worked, what didn't work, and how they would change it for the future. Once our, these guys get to East, they all kind of find each other anyway. So we thought we'd start that kind of socialization earlier. We go together to you and I when they're in sixth grade. Just getting them to know each other, be with like-minded peers, so when they get to high school, they have a friendly face. The overall goal was for them to experiment with that 21st century skills, learning how to get along with people. And then by inviting in Carver, it was just adding a whole nother level of working with people and then also just having a good time of eating pumpkin bars and enjoying our time together. Bunger was one of the many schools from across the district to participate 
in this year's STEM Festival. Here are some highlights from this STEM-ulating event. Welcome to the STEM Festival. Thanks for watching and go Bunger Wolves go!